Good morning, everyone, and welcome to a summer morning in my life here in Southern California. I actually feel so fresh and energized this morning. I already went for my morning swim at the nearby pool. It's my favorite way to get the day started in the summer because on the days when I'm not surfing, I can get in the water, be in the sun, and swimming for me like stretches my body out but also is cardio at the same time. And I also like to wear my cheeky Jolin bikinis so that I can tan and tone. So it's like a win-win situation and it's so relaxing. After I swim, I like to just lay out by the pool and read and chill for like 30 more minutes before I bike home. So that's what I did this morning. It was lovely. I kind of had the pool almost to myself for a bit, which is such a treat on a summer day. I just showered and I went through my beauty routine just getting ready for the day. So I picked up three new deodorants from Native to kind of stock up for the upcoming summer months because it's hot and I sweat a lot in the summer. Um, this is actually their 100% plastic-free packaging. The reasons why Native is my favorite deodorant is that it provides up to 72 hours of odor protection. So you got your bases covered. It's aluminum-free, paraben-free, vegan, and cruelty-free. So really simple, clean, familiar ingredients such as coconut oil or shea butter butter and they have a huge array of scents to please anybody so I picked up three new scents for the summer months and I'll show you which ones I got this is eucalyptus and mint this has been a favorite of mine for years to me it's just a very fresh spa inspired essential oil type of scent. Another go-to favorite scent of mine is lavender and rose. Lavender and rose are two of my favorite floral scents, so together it is an absolute dream. So relaxing and fresh and girly and floral and it's perfect. And then this one is a new discovery. It's part of their sensitive line. It's aloe and green tea and I love both of those things so I thought I would give it a try and I did smell this. It smells so good and fresh and crisp and really refreshing. For today I will be wearing the eucalyptus and mint. It's just so fresh and I also love that it doesn't leave any sticky residue when you apply it it just goes on so smoothly so because native is sponsoring this video i have an epic discount for you guys just go over to link in my description and use code aaron4 to get 20 percent off of your first native order this offer is available site-wide but only for a limited time so do what i do and use this opportunity to stock up on all of your favorite scents this is the outfit that i'm wearing today just some really cozy linen pants. I love long linen pants as you guys probably know it's my favorite thing to wear um, but I just love that these are like super summery and bright and then I'm just wearing like a simple crop tank top. It's the perfect outfit for just a chill morning at home. I do have a lot of things I like to do in the mornings because for me it's the most productive time of the day and as the day goes on I tend to lose energy and momentum so Gotta hit it hard in the mornings. So yeah, let's go downstairs and get this day going. Okay, so every morning I come out here and I take care of my garden. So I wanna show you guys a little bit of what's happening in my garden right now. It's all basically just containers since I don't have the space to have actual beds in the ground, but the plants right now are actually doing really well. So here in this corner, I have a lemon tree. It produced like six lemons last season and then it stopped. So I was worried that it was done, but then I just saw that little baby lemons are growing everywhere. So that's super, super exciting. And I have just been fertilizing this like every week or so just to really help facilitate the development of lemons. This is citronella. I got it originally to kind of like ward away mosquitoes whenever I sit back here. I had no idea that it has these pretty pink blooms like this. 
but those popped up earlier in the spring and it's been a really lovely lush addition to this corner and then on this stand i have various potted herbs these are my green onions which have been lasting a long time i think i might actually have to replace this because it's been here for about a year and the stalks are really hard now instead of um, soft so might get a new green onion but this has been so great to have fresh green onion anytime i make Japanese dishes like miso soup. I just snip it and have an endless supply. Um, also got some basil, some thyme, oregano, mint. This is so nice to put into my salads, which I make pretty often, like pretty much every day. Also have some rosemary, eucalyptus, and then down here is all mint. And in the summer, having fresh mint is amazing because I like to put them in my lemonade or my tea and um, my goal is to get this super bushy and prolific and the way I've been doing that is I've been pruning back all of my herbs let me show you how let me get my pruning shears so this is common knowledge for anyone who gardens but in case you don't know what you want to do with herbs is harvest regularly so that it grows full and thick and produces a lot of leaves basically when you're harvesting your herbs you want to cut above the node here and you want to cut the middle stem so that it actually lets the plant focus its energy on growing these two stems rather than growing out. So I have been super on it with harvesting my herbs. It's insane how fast they grow, especially when you are tending to them every day like I do. So I just harvest some herbs every morning and then do my best to use them throughout the day. A new addition to my garden, this is my blackberry plant. The first ripe blackberry has appeared. I'm so excited to take that off and eat it later, but this is doing really, really well. The berries are coming in hot. Okay, I have another new addition to my garden. These are my potted Japanese cucumbers. So these are growing like crazy actually. And since cucumbers are a growing climbing plant, I put this trellis here and they are absolutely loving it. I literally got this plant maybe two or three weeks ago when it was about this high and now it's growing so fast. So it's really cool to like come out here and see every day the progress because it really happens overnight. So my cilantro is going crazy. This is another herb that is important to harvest regularly so you get those nice thick leaves growing. I mean honestly nothing smells better than fresh cilantro. Yeah it's been doing well. Oh my gosh look how huge this leaf is. You would never get this in a grocery store ever. Like it's massive. <laughs> And then growing next to my cilantro is a jalapeno. These I've had such good success with in the past when I planted them, almost too much success because I had the same problem where it was just jalapeno overload. And there's only so many margaritas I can drink to keep up with them. But I do love a spicy marg, so that's why I have the jalapeno plant growing. Also got some cherry tomatoes. I was kind of hesitant to get tomatoes again because if you guys watched some of my previous garden vlogs, I had a caterpillar problem and they kind of freaked me out. These are what the tomatoes look like. They're just tiny, delicious, full of flavor, so much more flavor than you'll get at the grocery store. So there's a lot of tomatoes growing. So that's super exciting. I'm basically gonna have an endless supply of these all summer long. So good, wow. So the passion fruit vine has completely taken over this part of my garden, which I love, but I do have to keep trimming it back. It's crazy how fast these guys um, climb. Like they're already scaling this wall now and are inevitably gonna climb up the side of the house. So many passion fruits growing, which is really exciting, I think Yesterday I counted 20 and I'm sure there's more, but they are literally everywhere. It's breakfast time. Recently I have been making acai bowls. It's my favorite seasonal treat. So I'll show you how I make my Balinese inspired acai bowl. So 
So I've gathered up all my ingredients for the acai base. I'm using the Sambazon acai pack, frozen strawberries, a banana, oat milk. Also gonna throw in a few spinach leaves in there. And for the toppings, I've got an assortment of berries, strawberries, blackberries. I wish the passion fruit was ripe, but I don't think any of them are ripe right now. So also got some cacao nibs and some honey. Obviously, I got a snack while preparing. So for the base, I don't have set measurements that I use. I kind of just eyeball everything, throw it in a blender, and blend it up. That being said, the key to having a thick acai is to use frozen bananas. Unfortunately, this one is not frozen. Um, or like creamy fruits like mango, for instance, which I don't have, so that's not helpful at all. Um, but the key, honestly, is to not use that much milk. A literal splash of milk, and I'll add as I go. But the reason why I'm able to do that is because I splurged on one of the Vitamix blenders with the um, plunger. <laughs> I don't know what these are called, but all the fancy asylum places have these. And this really makes you blend everything up without needing the milk. So let's see how we do. All right, this is the finished product. This delicious acai bowl finished off with a gold pineapple spoon that I did actually get in Bali for this exact purpose, but super delicious. I'm just gonna enjoy this in this sunny, lush corner underneath the palm leaves and pretend I am in Bali. Cheers. Also, I don't know why my neighbor's dogs are going crazy right now. Kind of ruining the vibe, but Let's try it. So fire. Okay, so now this time of my morning, I spend a lot of time here in my office. Like I said earlier, I get the most amount of energy and feelings of productiveness in the morning, so I try to take advantage of that. My office is looking like such a mess right now. It is not an inspiring space at all, so I'm going to tidy it up before I even get started on my work or anything like that. So. Let's quickly put you guys on a time lapse and fix this situation. <laughs> much better my space is feeling tidy and clean didn't take that long but it makes such a difference especially when feeling productive or inspired I cannot work in a messy environment it just does not work for me um, so right now I'm actually going to do a few self-improvement things I have been trying to do as much as I can every morning and the first step is to study languages. So I have an app that I downloaded and I have been studying Spanish. Pretty much the only words I know are just what I've picked up from like surf trips to Spanish speaking countries. So I'm trying to be a little bit more disciplined and actually put in the time to study a bit. Um, so yeah, I just like downloaded this app called Busu and I paid for like the premium service. So yeah, currently learning Spanish right now, and I'm also doing a little bit of French and Japanese as well, but mostly Spanish. This is my little language studying book. As you can see, there's a bit of Japanese in there. I'm still in the very, very beginning stages of Spanish, so today's lesson is all about grading someone that you just met, asking them how they are, where they're from, things like that. Soy de Londres. Pero vivo en Madrid. ¿Dónde vives? Yo estoy muy bien. Ella está un poquito cansada. Buenos días, me llamo Carmen. ¿Y usted? Okay, so I did my lessons for today. 
Um, next up, I am going to practice a little bit of violin. This is also something I've been trying to do every morning as much as I can when I'm home. For those of you who don't know, I've played violin since I was four until about like 18, like pretty seriously, and then I stopped. But I still have it and I like to pick it up every once in a while, but um, lately I've been inspired to just fiddle around, play some random songs on YouTube, and just enjoy practicing with no pressure. And I pretty much do like a new song every couple of days or so once I feel like I've gotten it down. Right now I'm practicing Kiss the Rain by Yiruma. It's a violin cover that I found on YouTube and it's really beautiful. sounds super random to play the violin but hear me out the acoustics in a bathroom are always so on point kind of sounds like the sound of a concert hall so this is what I practiced so far it for like 30 minutes so I'll leave the rest for tomorrow or tonight I don't know but yeah that is my little violin practice session okay so the last thing to kind of wrap up my morning routine is to sit down and do computer work because that is what I do full-time I'm a content creator so it's a lot of editing and emailing but I don't mind it got a lot of emails to get through with brands that I'm working with and my management, and I also have to edit a video, um, edit some photos, and yeah. People are asking me what like a realistic day in the life of a YouTuber would look like, and honestly, it changes day to day. Every day is different, and that's what's so exciting about this job as a career path, I think. Um, but the best part, of course, is like being able to just go out and do what I love to do, which is surf and be at the beach and hang out with my friends and just film the whole thing, basically. But that being said, I do have kind of like some organizational things I like to do behind the scenes. Um, for instance, I have a whole to-do list of content that I want to film for TikTok. So yeah, today I think I want to film a couple TikToks outside. I want to do a garden tour because you guys have been requesting that and also a video on how to re-wax your surfboards. I also got a lot of requests for that one as well. So I think I'll knock out those two TikToks today and just work until about lunchtime and then I'll reassess. I'll probably want to take a break from screens at that point. But yeah, setting up to be a lovely productive day. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this random summer morning in my life. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye guys.